week number four of our nine keys to creating a phenomenon in your life. And this week I'm here with Reverend Patty Mercado from our center, and she's going to share a little bit about today's key, which is spiritual healing. Patty, tell us a little bit about spiritual healing and why you got to have it in your life. Wow. Okay, well, we want to have healing in our life because to be healed is to be whole. And in the science of mind, we remember that uh, healing comes from the inside out and that, uh, oh my gosh, who wouldn't want to be perfect, whole, and complete? Who wouldn't want to know that, that they're uh, living to their optimum? And I think we just had our parent forum here at the Center for Spiritual Living with some parents of the center, and we talked about our, our inner self really manifests in our physical world. So when we're really not healed, it shows up physically in our world. So talk a little bit about that and maybe some, um, some things that we can be on the lookout to understand if we have to heal within. Well, the only place for the work to be done is always within. So if there's something going on outside in our life that we want to um, heal, then the place to go is to go inside. And the place to look is within our own experience, within our own beliefs, within our own uh, feelings. And so to spend that time inquiring in is part of the healing process. And as we reveal the truth, which is what healing really is, it's a revealing of the truth, then um, we experience it on the outside in our lives. And so to heal is to, for me, is to go within and to make whole. And to make whole means to remember the truth of myself, to remember that I am perfect, whole, and complete, that I am born in the image and likeness of God, that this life that I live is God's life. And so as I remember that and I really believe it and, and live it, then I do experience being healed. And the good thing about healing, too, I found is you start to lose weight physically sometimes. <laughs> that could be a good thing, too. When you just release all the stuff, sometimes it, it really physically happens to, to lose weight, but a lot of other things as well. So any last last thoughts on, on healing or how do people start the process of healing? Hmm. Well, I guess the process of, uh, to start the process of healing would be to start with just looking and just being, being willing to just look and be an observer as opposed to judging um, if it's right or it's wrong or whatever it is, but to really be in an inquiry, to allow ourselves to inquire and that is the first step to just inquire and and then be willing to just say hmm what 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 is either missing or what what is my heart's desire here and what is the truth what is the truth and then go from there perfect well, if you are interested in exploring spiritual healing a little bit further, you can click the link below and there's an exercise to, to get you started with the healing process and to really take a look at your life at a bird's eye view and to truly start to change your life. So this is Vidette Vanderweide and Reverend Patty Mercado at the Center for Spiritual Living in Capistrano Valley. Thanks for being here and we'll see you next week.